Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Just when he thought he couldn't abuse the court system any more than he already has, he does. This time, it appears that Jonathan Yaniv, someone you're probably aware of, well, he's using his elective penis removal surgery as an excuse to adjourn the criminal proceedings that are facing him. Jonathan Yaniv has asked a justice of the BC Provincial Court to adjourn his criminal trial, citing a series of surgeries that the sexual predator is undergoing. The judge actually granted the accused's request to adjourn on the basis of his surgeries and his health. Now, it's likely that Yaniv's health isn't actually as critical as it's being made out to be, not so critical that he can't attend a trial, certainly. It's widely suspected that the penis removal surgery that Yaniv elected to undergo in Montreal actually caused a localized infection. Apparently, the infection was successfully treated weeks ago, and Yaniv is actually able to do whatever they want to do. He's driving around acting pretty normal. Yaniv has not been so unwell that it's stopped his regular activities. Just recently, it was announced that Yaniv has been harassing the local fire department, calling first responders to provide lift assistance to him over 30 times while he was in the bathtub. The township of Langley said that, quote, during the fire department's attendance at Yaniv's home, he engaged in inappropriate and lewd conduct towards fire department staff. The township, it says, takes this matter, including his misuse of township emergency services and the safety and well-being of its staff very seriously. Yaniv's conduct has created, among other things, an inappropriate and unsafe environment for fire department staff. Further, Yaniv's request for non-emergency calls to the fire department have been putting an unnecessary strain on township resources. This is not acceptable and the township will not be tolerating it going forward. This is great news. Jonathan Yaniv has been abusing the system longer than you would even believe. He's been calling the police, calling the fire department more times than you can imagine. And now he's using his health as an excuse to get out of a criminal trial. Now I know this because I was subpoenaed to come and testify against Jonathan Yaniv at the very trial that has now been adjourned. Okay. Anyway, there's the subpoena. As you drive a license and there's some notes on the back for you. Sure, okay, thank you. Okay, sir. Have a great day. You as well. Jonathan Yaniv is managing to push this back further and further and further, and I have a feeling of dread about what is going on. Everyone, see, in the Canadian justice system is entitled to a fair and fast trial. Delayed justice isn't justice, they say. I have a very bad feeling that Jonathan Yaniv is going to be using this delay tactic over and over again so that he can just get out of jail free from the assault charges that he's facing. Keep in mind, this is just the third criminal charge that he's been charged with. There's been a lot going on in this case of this predator from Langley. The first two charges were possession of prohibited firearms, and then of course the assault came right after that. There's been more stuff since then, but this trial is just about the assault. And it looks like Jonathan Yaniv is doing everything that he possibly can to get out of jail free. Now, if you want to help out with our work on this file, on, on, on our reporting, and the lawyers that come with all of this trouble with Yaniv, it would be a great help if you went to yanivtrial.com to check that out. For Rebel News, I'm Kian Bexty. Thanks so much for tuning into our coverage here at Rebel News. Like I said, please go to yanivtrial.com. There you can check out all of our coverage and help us out with the costs of it if you'd like.